Hello YouTube, I'm making winter stew in the instant pot. The recipe will be below in the comments section. What you're going to need for ingredients today is we're going to start off by putting our instant pot on the saute setting and adding three or four tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Once you've got that uh, done, take your steak and cut it up into one inch cubes. I'm using round steak and loin in steak, but you can use a really um, low cost, low budget cut of meat because this pressure cooker is going to cook this meat till it's tender. I did cut all the fat I could off of the meat and then seasoned it in salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, then just dredged it in flour and once the pan got hot, I put it over into the bottom of the pan and browned both sides real well. Removed it. I did this in two batches. Once you get that done, we'll remove all the steak from the pot. Take a paper towel and take any extra oil out of the pan. You'll add a couple of cups of chicken broth and use a wooden spoon and you're going to deglaze the bottom of the pan. Once you get your deglazing done, add your meat back to the chicken broth. Then you're going to add two cups of seasoned blend and a, I used a large tomato diced up just because we had it that's optional. Large fresh tomato. Place the lid on the pot and you're going to saute, or not saute, sorry, you're going to pressure this on high for 12 minutes. While that's pressuring up we're going to cut up our vegetables. Other vegetables we're going to need today is we used a couple of uh, regular sized potatoes to medium sized sweet potatoes, about three quarters of a pound of carrots, one cup of lima beans, and I used a quart jar of green beans, but you can use whatever you have frozen is fine, but I do, when I add this to the pot, I do put the green beans on top, and that way they don't get cooked all to pieces. So once your, when your meat is done pressuring, you'll quick release the pressure off the pot, remove the lid, and you'll add your cut up vegetables to the pot, putting the green beans on the top. When you get the vegetables in there before you put the green beans in, just use your spoon and stir and make sure you get everything coated in the juices from the steak cooking. You're going to add a little bit more salt and uh, pepper to it and place your green beans on top. I add onion powder on top of my green beans. It gives them a good flavor. Then I put the lid on the pressure cooker and cook it an additional 12 minutes. On the video it shows 15, but it cooked it a little bit too long, so I reduced the time. Once it's done, you'll quick release again, and just you're ready to serve. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them to me in the comments. If you're not a member of our channel, join our channel. You get notifications when we post any new videos. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I am out.